Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi everyone, it's your pal Amber here. And today I'm gonna read for you a book called What If Everybody Did That? <laughs> okay, are you ready to find out what happens if everybody did the same thing? <laughs> okay. When we went to the zoo, I fed just a little of my popcorn to the bear. The zookeeper waved his broom and said, what if everybody did that? <laughs> Those bears would be fat, huh? <laughs> I just wanted to see how fast the grocery cart would go. It went faster than I expected. When the manager stopped me, she said, What if everybody did that? Uh-oh. That looks like chaos. Do you know what chaos means? That means crazy. <laughs> On the way to visit Grandma and Grandpa in Kansas, I dropped just one soda can out the window. The patrolman who pulled us over said, What if everybody did that? Wouldn't look too good, would it? It's not very pretty. We should keep our earth beautiful. No littering. At Uncle William's wedding, I took just a little lick of the frosting from the fancy cake. The lady behind the table glared at me over her glasses and said, What if everybody did that? Uh-oh. <laughs> All kinds of licks out of the cake. That's no good. <laughs> I told the babysitter that I took a bath just once a year. As she shooed me into the bathroom, she said, what if everybody did that? Uh-oh. <laughs> Everyone's awful dirty, and I bet they don't smell too good either. <laughs> During story time, I had something important to say. I just couldn't wait until the end of the story. The librarian put her finger to her lips and said, What if everybody did that? Uh-oh, that looks like chaos again. I gotta go potty. Why can't we read one of those other books? I've already read this one. <gasps> Shh, I can touch my nose. I can touch my toes, see? How much do you weigh? I'm so hungry. My mom said recycling is a good thing, and we recycle in my house, and once I... That's lots of talking, huh? They'd never get through a story. While we sat in the car waiting for Dad, I honked the horn. I just honked a few times, but Mr. Thompson came to his door. He shook his head and said, What if everybody did that? Honk, honk, beep, beep, honk. Look at that. That's awful noisy. At the swimming pool, I just splashed a little. The lifeguard blew his whistle and said, What if everybody did that? No water in the pool. Too much splashing. On the bus, I just stood up to see the fire truck. Mr. Gearshift glared at me in the rearview mirror and said, What if everybody did that? Uh-oh, that looks dangerous. Just once, I didn't hang my coat on the rack at school. Miss Sanders made me pick it up and said, What if everybody did that? That's a jumble of coats. How would you find your coat? You'd have to search a lot. At recess, I threw just one snowball at Sammy. Mr. Walters saw me. When he sent me to stand by the wall, he said, What if everybody did that? 
Hmm. Yeah, shouldn't do that. When we went out for dinner, I just shot one straw wrapper. The waitress stopped taking our orders and looked straight at me. She said, what if everybody did that? <laughs> that looks kind of fun, but I still don't think you should do that. <laughs> After the football game, I just ran on the field to get the quarterback's autograph. The official waved his arms and said, what if everybody did that? Oh my goodness, you couldn't even have a game. When I came home, I gave my mom a hug. What if everybody did that? <laughs> everybody should. <laughs> That's a good one, huh? That is definitely something everybody should do is share hugs. The world would be a better place. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye. Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.